So now let us go to our topic. So we are going to see a very small topic today. Kirchhoff's Junction Rule. Kirchhoff's Junction Rule. There are two rules. One is Kirchhoff's Junction Rule. Another is Kirchhoff's Voltage Rule. You will see the first law. Junction Rule. Okay. So what does the junction rule say? It's very simple. We've got many laws which are similar to it's like law of conservation of energy, mass or whatever it is. Energy is neither created nor destroyed or mass is neither created nor destroyed. These kinds of rules are these kinds of laws we have always seen. So here also the rule is very simple. The algebraic sum of Algebraic sum of all currents that enter a junction, here we mean circuitous junction, is equal to the algebraic sum of the currents that leave the junction okay so algebraic sum of all currents that enter a junction circuitous junction is equal to the algebraic sum of all the currents that leave the junction this is the basic junction rule of Kirchhoff's okay so we will do few problems I will give you few problems I will explain that and then I will also give you few assignment questions this is how today's module is going to be. So we don't have any derivations for this law. It's just a qualitative analysis of the law. Okay. So consider this circuit. Here you have a resistor. Here you have a bulb. Whatever it is. So this is what we call as a junction meeting point of two or three lines away here we have got a, a capacitance okay. so here we are getting 5 amperes current here we are getting 6 amperes current here we are getting 4 amperes current but in the opposite direction ok what is the current that is going to enter this junction? This R, let us say this as O, A, B, C, D. Okay. What is the current that is going to be in O, E, R? So according to junction rule, at junction O, what are all the currents entering? 6 ampere is entering, 5 ampere is entering, minus 4 ampere is entering that is in the opposite direction or you can say it is exiting also minus 4 amperes equal to the total current at arm OE 11 minus 4 7 amperes that is you can say OC and OE are exiting currents so I can sum up 7 amperes and 4 amperes that is equal to the sum of currents that are entering 6 amperes equal to plus 5 amperes so totally the 11 is a constant sum which is going to be equal on both sides according to Kirchhoff junction rule let us do another problem which is going to be the basis of uh, what can I say the next to Kirchhoff's law that is the voltage law I will do it in the next module Okay, let us take such an arrangement. Okay, this is negative, this is positive. 
Okay. So, I will give you the question like this. This is X current. This is Y current. This is Z current. Okay. So, here it is again going to be X current. The current entering this arm. So, I will label all the arm now. So, A, B, C, D, E, F. So, in the arm D, F and F, A and all, it is going to be same. Okay, this is say P, Q, R, S, all each arm ohms. And this is a galvanometer. You will go to this moving coil galvanometer in another module. So galvanometer has got resistance, okay? That we will see in the later modules. Now this, let us see how we are going to work out. It is said that in this junction at point B, current X enters AB and in BC Y leaves. So what is the current in BE? It is going to be B is X minus Y amperes or whatever the measurement is. X minus Y. Okay. Here in C E Z is leaving. Okay. So here we have got Y where in DC we have got Y and in C we are exiting Z. Y is entering, Z is entering. So Z is leaving. So CD you will have Y minus Z amperes current passing. Clear? Here we have got X minus Y. We have already seen in B. In C E, Z is coming. So in E D, the sum of currents leaving point E is in E D. So it is X minus Y plus Z. X minus Y plus Z. And from at point D, we have got at point D. We have got Y minus Z current flowing. Y minus Z current is flowing through CD. And X minus Y plus Z current is flowing through ED. So at point D, two currents are entering. And the net current which leaves should be X. That's what is given. So we will prove that Kirchhoff's law holds. So total current is, which is leaving is X. So sum of these two that is CD and ED must be X X minus Y plus Z plus Y minus Z yes Z Z gets cancelled Y Y gets cancelled net is X Kirchhoff's junction rule proved Kirchhoff's junction rule is proved by this arrangement we will get to know more about this arrangement now. Then I will give you an assignment question which you can do it at home. Okay, this arrangement is called as a Wheatstone's arrangement or Wheatstone's bridge. This arrangement is called as a Wheatstone's bridge or Wheatstone's arrangement. We had four resistances P, Q, R, S and a galvanometer and a galvanometer G. See every galvanometer has also got a resistance. Galvanometer has also got a resistance. Okay? So the Wheatstone's arrangement is such that the ratio P by Q is equal to R by S. Okay? If the ratio P by Q is equal to R by S. If you connect P by Q equal to R by S ratio that means the galvanometer current, the current flowing through the galvanometer will be zero. 
there will be no current through the galvanometer. So the arrangement will become like this. So it is P, Q, R, S or P, P by Q equal to R by S, no? P, Q, R, S. Okay, this is the arrangement. So as I said, P by Q equal to R by S means there is no galvanometer. That is, there is no current through this arm. So it goes here, doesn't enter here, it goes here. That is, this arm is not having any current in it. That means it is equivalent to being absent. So the arm is equivalent to be absent. Okay. This is going to be a battery. So it is going to be net resistance is 1 by P plus R. These two are in series. These two are in series. Q plus S plus 1 by Q plus S is equal to 1 by R effective. It is nothing but Q plus S plus P plus R divided by P plus R into Q plus S is equal to R effective 1 by R effective therefore P plus R into Q plus S by P plus Q plus R plus S is effective resistance ok so that is the effective resistance for this Wheatstone bridge setup ok so this Wheatstone bridge derivation is there for your examination point of view. So in the next module, I will write one more law of Kirchhoff, that is Kirchhoff's voltage law or KVL. The previous one was called KCL or the Kirchhoff circuit law. Okay, these two laws we will use and derive Wheatstone's network. In the meanwhile, I will give you another problem. Two ohms, two ohms, two ohms. There are two points A and B. Find R effective across AB. Effective resistance across AB. Effective resistance across AB. Fine. So this is the assignment problem you can try out. This is a popular public examination question. So in the next module while we discuss KVL, I will solve this problem and then go to KVL. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please subscribe to youtube.com slash knowledge charity. Share with your friends and bring more subscriptions to promote the knowledge forum which we are trying to achieve. Thank you. Thanks a lot.